Hey guys, it's Paul from icegatecoach.co.uk. Today we've got a special collaboration video, freestylers versus figure skaters. I've teamed up with Nandor from nagyadekorisok.com and you can check out his YouTube channel. The deal was simple. I sent him six figure skating tricks and he sent me six freestyle tricks in return. You can see him trying my tricks on his channel. This video is gonna show you my attempts at his tricks. So what is freestyle skating? Let me introduce you to an insanely awesome sport, freestyle ice skating. It's basically a collection of mad tricks on the ice which look like great fun. So these are the tricks I sent to Nandor to try from the figure skating world. A teapot twizzle. A spread axle spread. Chuck tours. a 900 attempt on two feet and a heel drag with an attempted of turn. So the tricks he sent me, here's my attempts, the slalom grapevine. And by the way, there's tutorials for all these tricks on Nando's YouTube channel, go check it out. Slalom grapevine. These are both pretty easy and fun. So I'm no stranger to a grapevine, I thought this was going to be easy, but getting past that third cone was really getting to me. Every time I tried it, I just kept clipping it with my heel. In the end I figured out I had to keep that third part of the grapevine a little bit wider until eventually I could do it, even with the cone moved off centre. Once I tried it there, I could do it both ways round. And this was a really fun variation on an old school trick. Trick number two, a pendulum spin. Here's some advice from Nando. Pendulum is self-taught for most of the people here and I found at least three ways to start doing it. This video is also a good opportunity to mention some themes from Europe. But let's start from the basics. Pendulum is a trick where you pump with one leg on the ground, which is moving in circles, and balancing plus adding some momentum with the other. You can do it forward and backwards. Now I honestly didn't think I was going to struggle with this, but as soon as I started pumping, it was easily dropping in and catching my toe pick. It was hard for me to keep the speed going. I guess it's different on the hockey blades. I tried it on both feet and both directions until I figured out I was actually better on the wrong foot. I normally spin anti-clockwise, but this foot seemed to work better for me. I even had to go forward inside, which was just not happening. Trick three, the hawk stop. Here's some tips. The hawk stop. You need one inside edge for this stop. Let me repeat, just this edge, your most confident edge from a basic hockey stop. What fools you is that you're going backwards and your legs are kind of crossed in a T position, so it's hard to see it at first. Start going backwards on one foot and center all your weight on that. Don't just put your second leg into the front, instead you replace the back leg with it. The center of your weight remains in the same place, but on a different leg now. Also, don't forget that your inside edge needs to hit the ice, so lean forward enough. Now I'm not sure where I learned this, but I have come across it before and I'm sure I've given it a try. What I found most difficult was coming to a complete stop, as in leaning forward enough to get it stopped completely. But I did get there in the end. Trick 4, the sweep. Here's some tips from Nandor. Sweep. It's not hard, you just need to get used to this strange movement. Sweep is exactly this, except your legs are crossed, but that doesn't change the mechanics. At first, just try this motion with each of your legs. You push yourself backwards with your front foot. You glide on your back leg and tilt your front leg a little bit. You are not going in a straight line, rather in a zigzag. Now I'd seen this before but I couldn't quite remember where and I figured out it was in our field move test system in the UK setting up for back outside twizzles. So once I'd had a few goes, I kind of got my head round it and figured out that movement once again. Keeping both feet on the ice was a little bit trickier than changing feet though. Trick number five is the wallish. Now this is some serious stuff. The wallish. It looks so good and it's safe to learn. Here we go. I like to keep my left hand on the ground for a few seconds before the jump. The basic version is when you put down your right arm, put it in front of the left, then you do a low sideways roll with the support of your right arm. You can experiment with a quick sharper turn before the flip. When I first saw this I was like, these guys are insane, it is pretty much a one-handed front flip. On ice, that's just not easy at all. Now, 
I've done cartwheels and things on the ice, but this was so different to have your feet going right over the top of your head. I think I had a pretty good attempt, but it's not quite as impressive as these guys that do it on their freestyle ice skates. Trick 6 was a 540 kick. Hey guys, time has come for a 540 kick to tour. In this case, the right leg is the jumping leg, also the kicking and the landing leg. The other leg I call pulling leg that pulls you up in the air. Now on ice, the motivation. Not much to add here, except it's even harder because you go straight for it. If you practice a lot, you will feel when it is efficient. You glide into the jumping position instead of stepping. It's hard, but it makes it even more fluid, so just catch the momentum. Use tornadoes as warm-up. Now I'm pretty good at a 540, but adding the kick was a whole nother level. Trying this in slow motion and building it up, I just couldn't get the kick over that they were getting on the freestyle videos. Hats off for them. As I learned later on, this is actually a move from the Taekwondo world. And I'm sure lots of hours of off ice, we could probably get this right leg to kick over just like these guys did. So hats off for these guys for the Wallish and the 540 kick. It's not easy. This collaboration was so much fun. Please make sure you check out Nandor's channel and search up Freestyle Ice Skating on YouTube to learn a little bit more about it. The idea behind this video was to get both worlds of skating to collaborate and try each other's moves for fun and have a go at some different styles of skating, as all skating on the ice is great. So I hope you've enjoyed this collaboration. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, smash that subscribe button because I've got lots more tutorials on this channel. Go check them out.